So basically, our project is uh, interactive comics. So uh, we, from uh, my comic, I decided to take the, uh, you know the comic format, you know the sequential art with all the structured panels and such, and make it interactive, taking a video game and bridging the gap between the reader and the comic. So. With my approach to this comic um, specifically, I wanted the player, to, uh, the reader, to feel like they're actually playing the game. It's more inclusive, and they're not just a voyeur being like looking into a life, but actually uh, uh, working on it and affecting it. Basically, it's a fan comic between Assassin's Creed and uh, Watch Dogs, so both Ubisoft uh, company uh, IP for video games. So here's Desmond from Assassin's Creed, and he's on the street of Chicago where. Uh, Watch Dogs is set in, and he's waiting for someone. So you click on uh, to the point, and he says that he's in position. And he has two other colleagues, and from in this comic, they're only known as R, who says, "Sweet, you know, they, they just wait for him. You know, he'll show up eventually." And then another character named uh, S, and he's a little more snarky. He doesn't really like Desmond, so he says, "Just don't screw up or don't cock up, okay?" So he's a little offended. You know, he closes his eyes, and in Assassin's Creed, he has a special power called Eagle Vision, which points out his target. So if visually, you can see that the target is gold, while everyone else is blue, because, you know, they're not that important compared to this guy. So, you cl um, and you notice that since he's the special character, you know that I have to click him. So, click on him. And then, the character, he walks past them and goes into an alleyway, and so Desmond, he decides to follow we were focusing more on Assassin's Creed and Assassin's Creed gameplay. And um, the cool thing that I tried to do is that I wanted to import the uh, interactive design of the, the, user, the user interface of both games and try to emulate that so that it makes the, uh, the reader feel like they're actually playing the respective games. So back to the comic, uh, uh, we're, since we're back to now we're into Watch Dogs, I'm using Watch Dogs uh, it, uh, user interface. It sort of points out the uh, player or the reader. Key. Oh, yeah, and so it points you to the camera. You click on the camera, and you notice that he sees by hacking the camera that someone's following him. And then from using the camera's interface, you can connect online and, and find out who is following him. So he realizes there's a person named Desmond Miles who was missing, and he's following him. And he's not happy about it. He doesn't like that he's being followed. So, <laughs> so he's already got a plan. He's got a plan, and it's and the plan it has something to do with this little thing right here. So if you click on that, you notice that Desmond's not aware of this. But if you click on this, it says detonate and explodes on him. It overloads. So and when you click on that to progress, Aiden's coming in. He's coming in for the kill. And then, that was all. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm growing up, I've always been a big fan of uh, games and, you know, interactive media. So, and even non-interactive media with like comics, anime, video games. And I just wanted to, um, in, in excitement, I love to, I wanted to display my excitement for these games and show my love for them in that kind of way. Hey, this is Shree from CultureCon.com. I think I've officially become